Welcome to the final chapter of Cat's Spooky Chats. After today, we will be back to our regularly scheduled programming. Today's spooky chat is going to be about a mysterious idol that's becoming more and more popular amongst today's elites. This idol is said to be a deity, a demon, and to some, the devil himself. Surely you're familiar with the band I'm speaking of, right? Or are you clueless? Well, I'm referring to none other than the Baphomet. Since the very beginning of the first mentioning of the Baphomet, it has been associated with evil and satanic energy. So why is this figure becoming so popular with celebrities and the elites? The Baphomet and its symbolism seems to be taking over Hollywood altogether. Why is that? Hmm. Maybe we'll find out why by the end of today's story. So, with that being said, let's chat. The Baphomet is one of the most ancient idols within history. The first mentioning of the word Baphomet was in the year 1098 in a letter written by Anselm of Ribon. In Anselm's letter, the Baphomet was viewed as a sign of evil or a false god associated with the Knights of Templar. Now, the Knights of Templar, also known as the Temple of Solomon and the poor fellow soldiers of Christ, were an order of Christian knights that was formed around 1119 A.D. following the First Crusade. The knights' responsibility was to protect the Christian pilgrims who were traveling to Jerusalem. And after financial disputes with King Philip IV, the Knights Templar was ordered to be disbanded by Pope Clement V. Many say the Knights Templar had actually found evidence that Jesus was married to Mary Magdalene and they blackmailed the Roman Catholic Church to gain wealth which actually led to their disbanding and several deaths. And after the disbanding of the knights, it is said that many of the knights were arrested, tortured until they confessed the crimes they did not commit, and even burned at the stake. The knights who escaped and went into hiding were said to have formed into what we know as Freemasons. Now the Baphomet is said to be a pagan idol and has always been a great mystery. Now the knights were said to worship the Baphomet and the Baphomet is said to represent religious freedom and duality. The Baphomet is part human and animal with both male and female body parts. It has a goat face, wings, and displays both shades of light and dark. The Baphomet is almost always associated with the pentagram. And the most iconic image of the Baphomet was created by a French occultist named Eliphius Levi. And it was created in the mid 19th century. Now, Levi's Baphomet is a winged, goat-faced hermaphrodite with a torch between its horns and a pentagon on its forehead. Its arms displays the Latin words solve, which means separate, and coagula, which means join. Two fingers on the right hand point up and two fingers on the left hand point down. Meaning, as above, so below. And on the Baphomet's stomach is an old Greek symbol of two serpents intertwined around a staff. 
This is said to symbolize trade, negotiation, and reciprocity. Breasts are seen on Levi's Baphomet to represent dual male and female sexuality. In the Pentagon, a widely recognized satanic symbol is seen on the Baphomet's forehead. The torch seen between the Baphomet's horns is said to be the torch of knowledge. Occultist Aleister Crowley, he adopted Levi's Baphomet, and it was he who was said to connect the Baphomet with Satan and the idea of suppressed knowledge and secret worship. Crowley argued that Satan is not the enemy of mankind and is an ally. The Church of Satan adopted the Baphomet figure, depicted in an inverted pentagram as their official symbol in the late 1960s. Now some say the worship of the Baphomet comes with fertility, wealth, fame, power, and euphoria that one could only dream of. But with great rewards comes a great price or even a sacrifice. So is this why more and more elites and celebrities are worshipping the Baphomet? Or is the worship of the Baphomet how they became elites and celebrities all together? What do you think? Please tell me your thoughts in the comments below. Please like the video. Please share the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace, love, and blessings.